hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to fix x input 13.dll not found or missing error x input 3.dll is a direct x runtime library related to the 360 xbox 360 controller so if your system doesn't have the file launching any pc game that support such controller gives the x input 13.dll file not found error i won't be sharing the causes let's move that how you can quickly fix it mm -hmm. the first thing that you have to do you have to install the direct x on your pc i will leave a link in the description you have to copy the link just paste into your browser and the direct x download will automatically be started if not then you can click here click here to download manually and it will be started just click on open file just run the setup hit i accept hit next next and this will be installing the component hit next again next and now it will take some time and the download will be once completed you can install it and after that we have to re-register the x input dll file once done you just need to click on finish and now we have to open your command prompt as an administrator so on your windows 10 or 11 just click on the search bar and type cmd and choose run as administrator hit on continue and now a black window will be coming up again you will be getting a command in the description you need to copy that and paste here and then hit enter and now you can see that it says that x input one underscore three dot dll was loaded but the entry point was not found so probably we do not have the x input on our pc so we just need to install it so right now we will minimize it and again i will share a link in the description you have to come to this website and here is scroll down and you will find here the version 9.15 architecture 64 so you have to click on download okay it's been downloaded so we will just click on it and now you can see that the file has been downloaded here so what you have to do you just need to make a right click on it and choose copy now open your file explorer then click on this pc then local disk C, then on Windows, and now look for System32. So you can scroll down, just double click on it, and now you have to paste the file here. So simply just paste it, and then click on replace the file in the destination. Just click on it, then hit on continue, and that's it. Now again, you can just close it. Now close everything, restart your PC and check back. I'm pretty sure that your problem has been fixed. And if yes, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.